Hey guys, this is MightyMaster123 here, and today guys, I'm going to show you how to record and edit videos with the Elgato HD60, brand new capture card that I got not too long ago, and uh, I feel like showing you guys how to actually upload to YouTube 60fps gameplay. So with that said, uh, let's get started. So right off the bat, when you open this application up, you'll have capture and you'll have edit. Uh, just real quick here before I say anything. Uh, two things. First, you need a really, really fast computer to record in 60 FPS. Uh, you got to go to their Elgato website and check that out. And secondly, the edit feature on the Elgato isn't really like, it isn't amazing because all you can really do is snip videos in one place and snip a video in another. You can't really add transitions or any cool special effects or anything. So um, the edit feature is kind of useless, but I'll show you guys how to edit videos with Adobe Premiere Elements 11, but we'll get to that later. So to start off, uh, you have the device, the Elgato, you have game audio, you can tweak that up to, you know, fit with your live commentary audio, you know, choose your audio input, you can re reduce game sound, which I don't really use because it's really noticeable and kind of annoying, but you guys can tweak with the settings. And then there's also tags, which I never use for making a video. I kind of find tags pointless unless you're into the editing portion of it, but for the time being, I just don't use it. I just record the videos. And down here, you'll have capture, which is extremely important if you want to capture gameplay. You have this little flash, uh, flashback recording pane here, which I'll get to later. Uh, here, you can take pictures of your game, like live, and like screenshot it to the desktop so you can put that image for a thumbnail for a YouTube video or whatever you want to do. Here, we have the preview window. In this case, I've chosen to disable it for now, but I re-enable it soon. And we have mute audio, so you can mute the game audio. There's also Twitch streaming if you wanted to stream, and there's also live commentary, which is a really nice feature, because now you don't have to make separate audio files to make your commentary. So you would have to press capture, then commentary, then you can talk while your gameplay is going and stuff. But yeah, so first thing I'm gonna show you guys is, uh, I'm probably just gonna enable the preview for now. And as you can see, I'm playing the Master Chief Collection. So I'm going to give this a little bit to update since I am trying to record this and stuff like that. I'll move around on the screen for a little bit. Uh, it does look a little laggy, but in the end, uh, the video actually does turn out pretty well. So I'll try and uh, make that look nice. This is flashback recording at its work. So as you can see earlier, um, you know, you can zoom back by about two minutes and you can still capture gameplay that, you know, let's say you get an amazing snipe. In this case, I'll grab the sniper. You guys don't see it, and I pull off an amazing snipe. Just like I did a second ago. You can actually fast forward this flashback recording to the point where you got the snipe. And in this case, at about 20 seconds, uh, about a, like about 20 or 18, I actually go for the sniper and I pull off a snipe. Now, as I said, it does look really laggy on here, but that's because I'm trying to record and edit stuff at the same time. But if you have a fast computer, uh, it would look great. So you could click capture at that point and then it would capture everything up until it's live, which in this case, now the video is live. So um, that's with that portion of capturing. It's really useful and really cool. Um, so that's flashback recording, really neat, and it's a great tool. But I'm going to disable this preview for now to continue showing you guys the features of the Elgato. So up here, we have the settings pane. In this case, I've decided to capture my gameplay onto an external hard drive, which is why you saw everything kind of lag in here. But here, it's located in Elgato recordings. I've named it something useful. So everything can be stored there. Enable flashback recording if you get an amazing snipe and you wanted to save it, you could just go here, zoom back the bar a little bit, and then click capture, and it would capture that. Um, all these other things you guys can mess around with, streaming, uh, XSplit and OBS are much better streaming tools, but if you have the Elgato and you have no other choice, then I guess streaming would be good for you here. I don't really use sharing, as I said. I just record the video and edit, uh, edit the video with Adobe Premiere, but you guys can certainly mess around with these options if you like and updates, you can automatically update your Elgato. And then we'll go specifically to the capture card where you've got a lot more options. In this case, I'm using the Xbox One, Halo MCC. Uh, some of these options you guys can mess with, but I've set it to 1080 HD and allow 60 FPS with the best quality because we want the most amazing video. And as I said, you guys can mess around with all these other settings that work for you. 
Um, TV compatibility, I guess, if your TV fades to black, you got to edit this option. So yeah, you guys just have to mess around with stuff like that. But anyways, uh, let's enable the preview and let's just quickly capture something simple. So I'm going to capture with the sniper right now. I've started the capture and it is going to appear much better on the video file. And as I said, as I'm recording, it's going to look very, very laggy, but I mean, that's okay. So here we go. Getting a couple snipes. Oh my goodness. Double kill with the nade. Oh my gosh. Oh, amazing. And then I die. All right, cool. So as you see, it's really laggy, but that's totally fine. So I'll stop the recording and then this sucker will try and catch up with what I've just done. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the video in Adobe Premiere Elements. So as I said, you could edit with the Elgato, but I certainly don't like that feature. So I'm going to go straight to Adobe. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements. You guys can use whatever editing software you like, like Sony Vegas or anything like that. But um, we're going to stick with Adobe. And as you can see, the video is being exported to the folder, and now it is just finished. So I guess I'll close out of this because I certainly don't need it anymore. There we go. Now in here, as you'll see, in my Elgato Recordings folder, uh, we do have Halo the Master Chief Collection. We do have the video recorded, but it's in 60 frames per second, and we need to optimize Adobe to, you know, edit and do all that stuff with 60 FPS videos. So what we're going to do is we're going to go File, New Project, and when we do that, uh, you'll see you can name your project, so I'll just name it Test. Uh, you can save in your Adobe folder, that's by default. But here we need to change the settings. As you can see, there's NTSC and there's PAL. Now, if I was recording Xbox 360 gameplay, uh, it wouldn't be in 60 frames per second, it would be in 30. So I would click this HDV 720-30 option down here. But since we're doing 60 frames, uh, AVC HD uh, 1080p60 is probably the most logical option. And it looks great. So we're going to click OK. And we're going to click OK again. Yes, confirm the overwrite. And there we go. So everything's loaded up. All we have to do now is open up the folder where our video is stored. In this case, the capture. Stick it inside Adobe. Hopefully it looks nice. It should. But I'm um, doing a lot of recording at once here, so it might look a little sloppy. So here, let me just get rid of the video. Just re-put it in here so it actually includes the whole thing. We'll zoom in. And uh, let's just see how this plays real quick. Yeah, a little leggy, but as I said, <laughs> I am doing multiple recordings at once. So when you guys do this, um, when you guys do record though, uh, the video would look great. In my case, I am pretty much recording everything to the drive at once, so it is going to be really leggy. But as you've seen here though, you can start the project up with 60 frames per second and then you can edit your video freely, add transitions and all that cool stuff. And then once you want to upload this video to YouTube, you'll go to publish and share and you won't click online because online doesn't support it, but instead you will click on computer. You want to export the video to your computer and then upload it to YouTube. So we're going to click computer and then the next thing we're going to click is ABC HD because that is exactly what we started our project with. And we have many options here. In this case, uh, one that stands out is MP4 HD 720p60. Um, that's good, but we need 1080p, right? So we go up here to the H.264 codec or whatever, and it's got the 1080p at 30. We click on that, but then we gotta click advanced. And then, you know, everything's good except for the fact that the frame rate is 29 whatever. We want that to be 60. I just do 60. You could do 59.94, doesn't matter. And we click OK. Um, and then you name this preset, name whatever you like, but I've already got a preset labeled as Elgato setting. Uh, once again, you can save this to your Elgato recordings folder, wherever you want to save it, name the file, and then click save. And that is how you record and edit videos with the Elgato HD60. Um, so yeah, that's about it guys. It's pretty simple. Just have a really fast computer and you'll be able to do all that stuff. So yeah, with that said guys, thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching.